Eivor, I have you and Kira to thank for curing my men. Even if the source of this sucker does not sit easily with me. Not all druids are your enemies, Lord. It is the children of Danu who attacked you. Kira has told me of this druid cult. They are no great threat if they must strike from the shadows. Perhaps they only sought to sow doubt among their enemies, and the friends of their enemies. I regret my earlier distrust, but I've seen too much Irish blood spilt by Danes to give trust easily. I know what it is to be bloodbound, Lord. It burns so bright it can blind to all else. So, King, if Allah is the prize, how do you mean to take it? The Ringfort there is the strongest in all the lands. Yet the kings of Alach dwell outside its protection, foolishly leaving themselves vulnerable. Still, that's a long march over uncertain soil. Your army will be exposed to forces unknown. Abaddon has offered land at Clahar, where our army will make camp. From there, we move on to Alach. This just arrived. The kings of Alach want to talk peace. They surrender before you touch their soil. I know those who would die for such a reputation. I don't like it. The wording is vague. Asking much and promising little. What's the harm in hearing them out? If we start with the sword, we have nowhere else to go. They know me, they'll listen. You would speak for me. If you would honor me with your trust. Do you have an opinion, Eivor? Or will you simply side with your cousin? My cousin gives wise counsel. You lose nothing but time, and if talking fails, answer with steel. Time marches more quickly when you have an army to keep fit and fed. But I will consider your words. My life has been one of warfare, plots, and intrigue. I have never known the trust of a brother, and do not give mine over easily. Barith McEver, King of Dublin. I hereby authorize you to speak for me, Flan Shinna, High King of Ireland and all of her people. I will honor the faith you have placed in me, my king. Do I have your blessing to accompany Barith, King Flan? I'll not waste our time on formalities, Eivor. But you'll not be going with Barith. I need you elsewhere. Tell me where. You must build up some goodwill among the northern Enail, as you've done for other kingdoms. Kira will provide the details at the pigeon coops. I will earn you their favor, Lord, for the trust you've shown my cousin. God has heard my prayers. You flatter me, Lord, but what's wrong? Where's Barith? He's not returned, nor have two messengers sent after him. This cannot be simple misfortune. It hints at some dark design. Do you wish you'd taken up Eivor's offer earlier? Aye. We may have lost three souls for not giving it more serious consideration. Let me go after him, Lord. If he lives, I will find him. Even with your cunning and guile, you would not go unchallenged. Not without a king's pass, and few Vikings have those. I'd wager a few from Donegal do. Donegal? A Norse settlement? A port on the western shore. A fair bit of their trade finds its way to Aljach, so someone there is bound to have a pass. Is this port well guarded? It's crawling with Norsemen grown lazy on success. They'd not expect someone to go Viking on them. Good. I'll go to Donegal now and get one of these passes. With your leave, Lord. If it means fewer lives lost, you have my blessing. Who are you to come before the Kings of Islar unannounced? <laughs> Fergal! You're not Fergal. I don't know you. I am Sturm. Of Donegal. Who is Fergal? The King of Dublin speaks of a cousin who advised us for a time. A glorified goat herder who should have taken our advice. So, Sturm, what brings a Viking from Donegal here? You tell me. I came at your invitation. There's some mistake. I sent no such message. It wasn't me. It could have been you know who. But he hates Vikings. Forgive my brother's bluntness. We will get to the root of this, I assure you. Can I offer you a drink? Yes! More drink? I haven't seen the bottom of my cup since I got here. <laughs> if I wasn't a trusting man, I'd say they're trying to keep me drunk. 
No drink for me. I'll return when you have finished your king's business. If it's not drink you're wanting, you should take a tour of the ring fort. It's, it's renowned throughout the land. As we've told you several times, King Bard, the ring fort of Arla is not open to guests. In fact, you could even say that it's closed for a select few. Ah, so you're keeping prisoners there. <laughs> oh, have a drink, you two. Do you think I haven't taken a few hostages myself? I'll seek out a place to rest until you remember why I was summoned here. Of course, of course. Your pass will grant you free run of this place. If you see Fergal, say hello for me. For the last time, Bart. The ring fort is off limits. Join us, cousin. We've been having a grand old time, the kings and I. It's the abbot who's turned this place into a prison. He's taken hostages from all the families to control all of Ireland. Shut your gab, Donald. Owen would kill you if you talk too much. And Flan will kill us if we don't. It's like Donald said. It was Owen. He told us to delay whoever came until... Until what? Until the abbot can move his forces in. How many men? How many? We don't know. No one does. He has some companies at Armagh. More men than he lets on. That's all I know. Left to my cousin, you'd both be puddles of blood and guts. But King Flan might spare your heads. You'll be treated as hostages, not prisoners. Until your king decides what to do with you. Now, think on your sins. It'll be easier in the end to let them keep their crowns, but they don't need to know that yet. Flan must learn of this trap. I've already sent messengers telling him to pull his army back. I wasn't going to sit on my arse waiting for you. I'm impressed. Don't be. It took days of drinking that swill before Neil finally grew bored and careless. You've outdone yourself. I'll be sure to let the king know who the real hero was today. Thanks to you, cousin. Make sure that message reached Flan and I'll join you all later. May Sol and Mauni guide ye. Eivor, you did well at Alec. We march in the morning. I think it no small thing for you to lead my honor guard. Did you not get Barret's message, Lord? You must pull back, not move forward. This ruse is part of a larger trap, not yet sprung. Barreth believes to know the minds of these kings, but the church has taken root and flourished since my uncle's day. The church is behind the plot against you. Did the message say nothing of Abbot Owen? King Neil and King Donal were doubtless seeking to cast blame elsewhere. The church is a convenient scapegoat. What if there's some truth to Barreth's suspicions? Owen is the Abbot of Armagh. God's appointed in Ireland. I cannot doubt him on the word of a friend. You mean a pagan. Why are you all still here? Did my message not get through? It did, but King Flan is not convinced. You must pull out a clawhorn now, my king, before we are surrounded by Owen's army. You do not command me, Barrett McKeever. If there was an army, my scouts... Your scouts are dead. Baldur's blood, Flan. How many must die before you learn to trust? You forget yourself, Barrett. Do not invoke your false gods in my presence. Listen! What's that? Owen's wolves have arrived. I didn't come this far to die in a tent, my king. We're under attack! Come on! <coughs> Barret. Eivor. I'm here. A glorious end, don't you think? Worthy of a saga, maybe. And you thought I'd gone soft. No one knew your true measure. Except you, cousin. You... you never doubted me. <coughs> your bravery will be remembered, Barret. I'll see to it. <coughs> Hold your weapon well, cousin. I will see you in Valhalla. Siegfried.
is my Valhalla, Eivor. Valhalla need not be a place, be a legacy. Flan must back him, have him swear by his God. There's nothing the Christians fear more than their almighty's wrath. Done. A hero's funeral. Aerith has become a greater man in death than he was in life. Or maybe we were too small to see his full size. A harsh truth. But fair. He saw more clearly than I. And I ignored his counsel. Owen will pay for his death. What then? When the abbot is gone and you've tamed the north? What of Siegfried? Will you give him your royal support? When he has proven himself. It would not be good politics at this time. Trolls take your politics. Barith gave his life in your service. If this is how you repay loyalty, you'll be in short supply. Twice you stung me with truth. I'll return the favor. Siegfried isn't ready. But he could be, with proper teaching. Good. He'll benefit from your wisdom. And my support. But neither throne will be secure while Owen lives. We'll throttle the snake. And afterward, the fate of this land will be in your hands. Yours and Siegfried's. The horses are being made ready, my king. Sure you don't want to rest your bones and leave by dawn's light? My thoughts ride too rough for sleep. I have an army and reputation to reclaim. The second may prove harder than the first. My mother used to tell me how the Morrigan would feed on the death of heroes, then fill men's heads with thoughts of war. I imagined using the Tara Stone to drown out their song, the way Bishop Patrick drove the snakes from Ireland. There is no power strong enough to do what you say. Not even the gods can change fate. The world is destined to end in war. It was not but the fantasy of a young girl, so... <laughs> Tell Flon I'll come to him after I've arranged things with Siegfried. Tell him yourself. I'm not leaving yet. Eivor! We will march upon Armagh immediately! This place smells like a brewer's hut. I will blood eagle the abbot with my own hands. I will blanket the north with the skulls of petty kings. Enough! If you charge into Armagh like a berserker, they will crucify you like their Christ. I'm sorry to tell you, my king. The siege weapons you requested are being held by Armagh. Hell have that abbot. Those weapons were to be a show of the strength of Dublin's new king. Forget about shows of strength. Cast your fortunes with Flon. The High King will be a powerful ally if you back him now. Where are these weapons coming from? Who's supplying them all? A shadowy web of pirates run by a druid cult. They roost along the northern coast, looting and trading in equal measure. These druids, do they call themselves the children of Danu? In fact, they do. Led by one they call the Seed. Now that you have their scent, I wish you a good hunt. If there is nothing more, my king, I will return to my shop. I will gather what forces I can wherever I can and join them to Flans. Together we will avenge my father. You have a strength that comes from him. When you find that, men will follow. 